Hey Bumble, it's Regina back again with part two of my Global Connector B application. And I'm actually in this really cool space in Toronto, and that is because of Bumble. I actually don't live in Toronto, but Toronto is the closest major city to me. And what I thought was really cool is Bumble has events all around various cities around the world that bring people together. And I'm here today, I'm going to listen to the Mindful Mostly podcast, which is gonna be really cool. There's gonna be free wine, there's gonna be people. I just think it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna head up in just one moment. This is essentially phase two of the interview pro or the application process, but maybe also phase one of the global connector B position. It's personal branding for the future of work. So it's helping you get in the best possible position before robots come and take our jobs. Yeah, exactly. It's the least sexy thing in the world. I that right now, this is the best time for women to become equal in the boardroom, equal in leadership positions, and really, really do what we've all been striving so hard to achieve over the last, you know, the entire feminist movement. I'm here with Andrea Collins from the Mindful Mostly Podcast. Yes. yes. Which you should listen to. We were talking about self-care, wellness, and personal branding tonight, and it was a very engaged audience. Now everybody's having wine and talking and getting to know each other. And um, this is actually a Bumble baby. Yes. <laughs> so I used Bumble for all the dates and then the baby making. And then now am a Bumble biz fan. So yes. um, I love how now you can always at any stage of your life um, or all stages be, be taking advantage of the different categories that the app has to offer. And I'm here with Carrie. Why do you think Bumble is the ultimate way to connect with people? I work with Bumble. I'm a city rep, so I've been able to go to tons and tons of different events around the city. And I've been able to meet different people that I would never meet in my regular group of friends circle from university and school and stuff like that. So it's really opened up my network and not only just in, you know, my friendships, but I'm also meeting people that I've met now with jobs that I potentially want or like I'm looking into. So I've been able to connect with people on different levels and different networks, which has been amazing. Definitely helped me always because now I'm not as scared as I used to be. Like, the first move, I just do it. That's like my new motto now, just do it. Just do it. Honestly, I feel like just me making this video alone is a perfect example as to why Bumble is the ultimate way to connect. Um, I got great advice in regards to my career, being an entrepreneur, just being a female, female empowerment, BFF. I got to meet a lot of people. Everybody that comes here is very outgoing. One thing that I gathered is it just really brings out the confidence in women, which is super cool, and not just in regards to dating, but just making friends and talking to people. I'm just waiting for my Uber to get to the train station to get to Toronto and head to the second Bumble event. This is going to be Bumble BFF. It's in collaboration with Flow Alkaline Water. So it's essentially focusing on wellness. Um, from what I read, they're gonna cover meditation and the setting's gonna be kind of like yoga retreat style. So I Buckingham and she is the Toronto market lead for Bumble and we are sitting here in our Bumble BFF and Bumble day yes. chairs. <laughs> oh perfect. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you what makes Bumble the ultimate way to connect? Well really I think Bumble is truly amazing first of all because there's three different modes so you can connect with people whether romantically or if you want to find friends or you want to make a business connection so there's multiple ways to connect and plus we always have community events. Um, so just like the one we had tonight, people can come out, meet new people in a very warm and welcoming environment. It's, what's actually really cool is you can toggle between those modes. So you can choose your preference and work that way. All right, I need to get on biz. We have that empty chair. That's, that's yeah. reminding me to get on there. Yes, we um, gotta get on biz. But thank you so much for your time. Yeah. And I will see you at the next event. For sure. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Also, yeah, I just wanted to stress, I have no connections whatsoever to these events. There's no, secret list or whatever. I just got an email saying I needed to make this video and I jumped online and looked at 
the nearest events, luckily there were three, and I just quickly RSVP'd to literally all you do is sign up with your email, and when you go up there, you show that you have an account, and it's cool, it's gotten me out of the house, it's gotten me out here on the streets filming. And I was talking to her about Bumble and yes. she told me, tell me how you met your boyfriend. Yeah, so I actually messaged him on Bumble and ever since then it was just easy going from there. Everything has just been supernatural and we've been together for four years now. So. And then what's happening yes. now? So right now, um, this past summer, he has he's a professional volleyball coach and he just got signed to go to Sweden for a few years. He's going to be bringing me with him and I'm really excited about that. So One message. It took one message. And I, you know what? I'm not even the one to message someone first. But of course with Bumble, it's that... You have to. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I love him so much and I'm so excited to go to Sweden with him. Yeah. And it's been four years so we'll see what the future has for us. Yeah. But so far it's been nothing but just like happy memories. Exactly. And he's so easy going and we just love each other so much. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And I'm so happy. You. So uh, what is it? I can't wait Bumble. to test out Bumble in Sweden. You see were just my amazing. friends. I really wanted to share this story all because of Bumble. Look Thank how amazing you. that is. So. Here in Toronto at Trinity Village Park, I have my Bumble Water glasses sun. on. We're just hanging out at the park and it's a cool place to have a date. We're handing out ice cream. Well, actually, Bumble's handing out ice cream. Literally, all you need to do is have the app downloaded. And if you don't have the app downloaded, you can download it right on the spot and get yourself some ice cream on this hot day. My friend Andrea just downloaded it. I did, setting it up right now. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of popsicles and creamsicles and whatnot. There's a cute bike right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can ride it. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I had, I actually had so much fun making this video. I got a lot of unexpected advice when it comes to my career, making friends, health and wellness, even dating. I heard the coolest stories, uh, very unexpected Bumble date stories with amazing outcomes. And I hope to hear more stories and share the message of Bumble around the world. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Just gotta get Cheers to, to Bumble. Yes. Cheers. <laughs>